Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are going to learn how to obtain converter plots using QSpice. So the idea is that we have a converter, as shown here, a back converter. We know that this converter operating in continuous conduction mode has an output voltage that can be represented with this expression. VV is the input voltage, V gamma is the voltage dropped here in the diode. D is the duty cycle, RL is the series resistance of the inductor and R load is the load resistance. So we want to verify this characteristic by doing a QSPY simulation. Another example would be the plotting of the efficiency of our converter as a function of the load resistance or as a function of the output current. So today we are going to see how to do this using QSPICE. So this is the simulation schematics in QSPICE. Here we have our back converter. This is the control circuit to generate the PWM signal for the switch. Here we have a ramp of 200 kilohertz, 5 microseconds period. This voltage source is to inject the value of the duty cycle. And then we are using here this comparator to generate the PWN signal. We have selected these values for the different parameters, the series resistance of the inductor, 50 milliohms, the input voltage, 10 volts, the duty cycle is 0.5, the diode voltage drop is 0.4 volts. With this voltage source, we are generating also the theoretical output voltage for comparison. So this is very convenient because we can implement the equation that we have seen in previous slide to generate the theoretical value of the output voltage. And then here we are doing a step analysis from 0 0.2 ohms to 5 ohms in steps of 0 0.2 ohms. In this way we are changing the load resistance. So then we are plotting the output voltage, the actual output voltage, also the theoretical output voltage here. Here we are calculating the average value of the output voltage. We are doing this from the instant 1.8 milliseconds. So this is to assure that we will be in steady state operation. Then we do the same with the theoretical value. Here we calculate the average value of the current at the input of the converter, so it is the current that goes in this direction. This is to calculate the output current, then the output power. Here we calculate the efficiency and then finally we are plotting here the output voltage and the theoretical value of the output voltage. So these are plots made using the data obtained after the simulation, so it's post-processing, and also here we are plotting the efficiency. So now let's run the simulation. Now we see how we are representing here the output voltage in green. So we can see how when we are increasing the load resistance, the system becomes more undamped. So now here we can see the results. In green we have the output voltage for the different values of the load resistance and also in blue the output voltage obtained from the theoretical expression. So we can see that they are very similar. And here in the post-process window we can see all the values that we have obtained from the simulation. And finally here we can see the results of the plotting. So we can see in blue the output voltage, the actual output voltage from the converter and in red the theoretical output voltage. We can see maybe this better if we represent from zero. So we can see that they are very very similar and then here below we have the efficiency of our converter. So when we decrease the value of the resistance we are having a lower value of the efficiency. Again, we can see this maybe better if we represent it from 0 to 1. So we can see the value of the efficiency. We can change the representation and select for the x-axis maybe the output current also. 
like this so we can see how the output voltage is decreasing when we increase the output current and also the efficiency is decreasing when we increase the output current or maybe we can represent it as a function of the output power if we like we can see that the efficiency is quite good look here at the bottom at this point here then we can see that the value is something like 94 95 percent of efficiency and at higher values of the output power the efficiency is something like 91 percent well this is all today in this short video i hope that you find it useful this information please let me know if you have any comment or question thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video goodbye now